All right, um, we're inside a program called GIMP. I've loaded up an image that was taken from a, uh, a fingerprint that had been developed using iodine fuming. And we can see that we're zoomed in quite a bit here. Um, we can see the, uh, the ridge patterns uh, pretty nicely, but the image still needs some work in order to clean this up. We're just gonna do a few simple things with GIMP uh, to make that more visible. Um, first thing I want to do is to sharpen the image up. Under the Filters menu, we're going to choose an enhancing tool called the Unsharp Mask. And um, I would recommend keeping the amount of the Unsharp uh, in the mid-range. Keep the radius around 100, but keep the threshold low. And as we invoke that command, you can see there's a dramatic change that will take place on this uh, image um, and then um, next would be to do some adjustment on the levels in many cases just choosing the auto feature as I've just done we'll we'll clean that up and then next under the same menu colors menu to desaturate this so that we're actually going to now look at a, a grayscale image and choosing the magnifier, we could zoom in and we can take a look at um, a smaller portion of that print. And you can see we can identify features such as bifurcations. There's one here, there's one there. Um, we have uh, another one up here. Uh, there's an eye. Sometimes it may be more helpful to stay zoomed out further uh, to identify these. There are other features within GIMP that you could use to draw circles around uh, the features that you see um, for later annotation. I'm just going to demonstrate one of those here. Um, so if we take our circle tool and uh, let's say we want to draw a circle right around this bifurcation that you can see in the middle of that oval that I've drawn. Um, we'll go ahead and under the edit menu we will stroke that selection and I'll just leave the settings that I have here and and uh, and then clear that out you'll notice that you'll notice that will leave a, a ring right in there, around there that can be you know used for later identification uh, of that that's all I want to show for now thanks for watching